This is Independent Conservative. Thank you all for joining me. So here we go again with the uh, media trying to spin things as, to fit their agenda. But apparently Joe Biden uh, made the statement that all Trump supporters or Trump supporters, rather, I don't want to misquote that, are basically garbage. You know, you guys, we, all of us that support Trump, we're garbage, you know. Uh, and I heard a bit, a, a portion of that within the context. And now, so look, <laughs> I'm going to get right into this. I'm going to read some of this, some of this article, and we're going to get right into what I believe all this nonsense is all about, because uh, time is winding up. Election day is almost here, and people are flipping off at the tongue all the time. So let's get right into this. The establishment media immediately tried to reframe and explain away President Joe Biden's labeling of Trump supporters as garbage. I'm pretty sure you got, you guys have already heard about this. You've seen it. You've heard it on other. News sources, yeah. There's no way to spin it. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris don't just hate President Trump. They despise the tens of millions of Americans who support him. Kamala does not deserve four more years. Caroline Levitt, Trump campaign national spokesman said, spokesperson said Tuesday. Biden was speaking on an evening call on Tuesday, Tuesday to rally Latino voters when he brought up a Trump rally speaker's racist insult of Puerto Rico over the weekend. The media, however, tried to spend it. Now, I didn't hear that. I didn't see that. I didn't see the rally. I didn't hear anything about the rally. Well, I mean, take it I didn't see the rally and I didn't watch the rally, but those that have seen it and watched it, they told me that it was great. But then these were, these were conservatives. So, of course, they, you know, they're going to say it's great. You know, they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna say it was great. Okay. Although I must say this. That if something was funky about the rally, I'm pretty sure conservatives would have brought it out, and they have brought it out. They not like that. They not like the left. The left don't want to bring out nothing negative that they do. Ne never. But anyway, Trump and his allies linked Biden's garbage comment to 2016's deplorable remark. Read the New York Times headline. Let me get right into this because um, I already see where this is going. I've read the article all the way through. You guys can. Um, Read the rest of that article in the description box below. I'm going to try to see if I can find a link to that because I don't know how to do the link thing. So I'm going to find out how to link that to the, in the description box below for you guys can read that on your own. But really, to me, this, this really is a bunch of hoopla, really. You know, uh, it, look, the mainstream media's attempt to try to spin this, to try to make it seem like, uh, Biden didn't really say this. He didn't really call Trump supporters uh, garbage and all this. Look, I heard what he said. It wasn't AI. At least I don't think it was AI. Okay. Okay. And I heard it within context and he was referencing, Biden was saying something about the, the, the guy that made a supposed racist joke about Puerto Rico or whatever. And uh, he said, uh, the only people who are garbage are those who are supporting Trump, you know. Whether whether Biden was referring to a certain group of people who supported Trump and not all Trump supporters, that, that's neither here or there. Here's the point. The point I want to make is, is that this is not a mistake on Biden's part. I think all of this stuff is done on purpose. And for the mainstream media to come around and try to spend it, to try to correct it, I'm getting so sick and tired of trying to you know, spend it to make it seem like he didn't ever say this and whatever. It's interesting how the mainstream media does. Anyone in their camp that says something dumb or boneheaded or stupid, okay, they want to spend it to try to say he didn't really say that or she didn't really say that. But every time Trump says something, they're always trying to, the mainstream media always tries to spin it to make it, make it seem like he said something that he didn't say. You know, it's the opposite with Trump. They try to make it spit sound like he's a racist and he's of this and he's of that because that's all they have. It's mind control, man. But my point going into this video, because I'd be glad when this, this, this election cycle is over. I'm getting sick and tired of these people, man. I'm tired of it. It's, I don't believe any of this type of stuff is a slip of the tongue, Biden or anything. They're saying it on purpose. Now, for the mainstream, in my opinion, it's all a part of trying to demonize not only Trump, but demonize his supporters to push them on the outside, if you will, and to get the majority of Americans to hate on anyone who supports Trump and his policies. You can't take Trump down. It, it, so try, let's try to take down the supporters. Let's try to demonize them. 
And then the mainstream media comes on and tries to spin it to make it seem like he didn't really say that. But the deed has already been done. And they know that. Once the seed is planted, see, the ground have to be fertile already. And a lot of people's hearts are already hateful towards Trump. OK, but specifically certain people on the left, not all, but certain ones. OK, the, the, the heart, the ground of their hearts is already fertile with hatred towards him and his people and his, and his followers, if you will. If you say something like that, Trump supporters are garbage. OK, Biden said it and he clearly did. Whether it was all of Trump supporters or just a certain portion of them, he said it, okay? And then the mainstream media comes to try to spin it in a way to cover up for him. The dirty deed has already been done. That's my point I'm trying to make here. The seed has already been planted in the hearts of the people that heard it. So regardless if regardless of whether or not the mainstream media comes on there and tries to change it and say he wasn't really saying it, it doesn't matter to these individuals who might have Trump derangement syndrome. It don't matter to them. The seed has been planted. And I believe people like Biden and the rest of them know that they know that this stuff is controlled, man. This is a control. It's controlled chaos. It's controlled chaos. Yeah, it's a controlled chaos because when I heard Biden talking, he wasn't stressed. You know, and I don't believe any of these presidents, real insider presidents, are talking off the cuff. They're saying what they're told to say. Okay, and they have the mainstream media to cover up for them. You know, to make it seem like they or make it seem like they're covering up for them. That's a bunch of bull crap, man. In my opinion, that's a bunch of bull crap. He he, he meant what he said about whoever it was, whether it was all Trump supporters or just a certain portion of them. Okay, and. The mainstream media comes by to try to cover up for it. It's just, a, it's just smoke and mirrors. Okay. The seed has been planted. The deed has been done. The purpose, in my opinion, and this may sound dark and cynical, but the purpose, in my opinion, is to enrage as many people as possible about Trump and those who support him so that if he gets in office, all hell is going to break loose. The troops are going to come out. On all sides, they're setting it up. They're setting it up. They're setting it up. They're setting up their armies, their foot soldiers, if you will. But you, in order for you to do that, in order for the radical communists to do that, they have to enrage certain people. They have to get them full of anger and bitterness and hatred. Okay, they have to get they have to get a hold of the unstable minds in this country. And there are a lot of unstable minds in this country, especially those of Trump the Trump derangement syndrome. Them, them the ones you got to watch out because no matter what you tell them, no matter what kind of facts you give them, they're not going to listen. It's a waste of time. You're wasting your time. You're only frustrating yourself. You're only making yourself get a headache. Stop bothering. All you can do is pray for them that they see the light. Other than that, they're not going to see it. But I just wanted to say that. I ain't going to go a little bit farther than that. It's a bunch of nonsense. I'm getting sick and tired of it. Come on, November 5th. Let's get this thing done and over with. Let's move on with our life. Because all this, well, he didn't really mean to say it. Oh, he didn't. Come on, man. Stop it. You stop it. It's the same thing with when with, with, uh, a Hillary Clinton card um, Trump was a bunch of deplorables and all this kind of stuff. Look, that's what radicals do. That's what that's what radicals do. That's what they do. Radical Marxists do what they do is it's easy. It's easy for them. They don't need to show facts or give you history or any of that. All they need to do is smear their opponent's reputation. That's all they need to do. And people just. Go along with it because it's repeated over and over and over and over and over again. Come on, man. To me, in my opinion, it's right in my face. Right in my face. I'm, I'm seeing the mind control right in my face. Let's go on, move on with the next phase of history and just get just get 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 done with this nonsense because it's ridiculous. So to end the video on this, this is not a slip of Biden's tongue. The mainstream media can come and try to cover it up all day. I believe that this is just a setup to plant more seeds in the hearts and minds of unstable minds in our country and unstable emotions. People who are unstable, unstable emotionally, particularly those of the Trump derangement syndrome people. OK, to get them so angry and so bitter that if if Trump gets in office, we're going to the, the elites behind the scenes. The true revolutionaries are going to loose them and lease, lease them all on us, if you will. OK. You better be praying and you better be ready because if Trump gets in, either or, it's going to be a problem. And I'm praying that I am wrong. I'm praying that I'm wrong. I'm praying because if not, most people ain't going to be ready for it. I'm just saying. 
So yeah, I just want to say that. What do you guys think think about this debacle, this this foolishness? Leave your comments in the comment section. If you don't like, share, and subscribe to my channel. God bless y'all. See you again.